I don't get this dumb homework. I'm gonna go fishing instead. Stop, if you're struggling, I can get you help. So we all at some point need a little bit extra help in school. Like for me, I'll go fishing, I'll get behind in some assignments. I'm like, oh crap, I need some assistance in school because I don't know what I'm doing. With Mayday Educational Services, they provide all the direct and virtual tutoring assistance that you could possibly need. Like they're based in Michigan and they're teaching someone from Louisiana. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country, you can get help from them. They provide their tutoring and instructional support with over 62 years of combined teaching experience. They tutor all ages and all educational levels, which you need math, science, doesn't matter or what you need help in, they are able to help. They help improve your academic success with a wide range of services and packages that help support what you need. So if you guys need any academic or tutoring assistance, be sure to go check out Mayday Educational Services. You can either look it up on Google or click the link in my description. Welcome back to an episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I actually have Danny out with me today. Someone decided to come kayak fishing with me today. So I'm not alone. Hopefully Danny can get on his first kayak fish of the year. Maybe potentially his PB, my PB, you never know. Springtime, you never know what can happen. Hopefully you can catch some big old bass. You guys just stay tuned. All right, so today, guys, I am throwing a nice old chatter bait in a nice big old jig head here, and hopefully I can crank on a few monsters. It's a lot better conditions from the last time I went kayak fishing because it's not like a thousand mile power winds and or raining. So hopefully we can catch some today. Huh? Not too sure if I had one or not. <clears throat> so I thought it was weeds at first, but then it just kept bumping. That's all I'm saying. Really? They ain't got one, no way. That's a big one. Shoo! On the good old Texas rig, as he was taking a nap over there. I, I saw you taking a nap. Did lift. you have it in the water? Yeah. Oh, he, he wanted that dead presentation. Oh, That's your PB? Yes, sir! <laughs> Beat his PB by one ounce. Yeah! Three pounds, three pounds one ounce, guys. All right. That officially breaks Danny's PB Shoot. by one ounce. Holy crap, I did not expect that. I told you that might be that it. It's a big one, but... It's a big, big chunky right there. Nice, nice one. one. to start the day. Hopefully we can get some more. It's been kind of a struggle for the first hour and a half. Been, but, but we this broke the skunk, nice so... big in right here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There we there go. Goes. How do you feel? New PB. I feel great. Three pounds. One ounce. One we'll ounce. Take it. <laughs> take it. An upgrade's an upgrade. I mean, if we would have got him off the hook a little bit faster, it might have been like two ounces, but it was kind of like gut hooked. So yeah. But slow start to the day. Finally able to pick it up here. So just looking for some more. Well, since Danny got him on that good old Texas rig strat, I'm about to throw it on myself. Danny's got a dinger, so we still have a little bit different presentation but the same rig style. I put that upside down. Oops, that's okay. Yeah, I put the bait upside down and I put the weight upside. Jeez, I'm just upside down today, guys. Not too sure what that means, but I'm just living in a different world right now. It's been a long day so far, and I don't know. Jeez, I might as well just go to the ponds if I can catch four pounders there. I ain't gotta come to the lake. Take a quick power nap and then you catch them. Is that what I'm doing wrong? <laughs> really? All right, I got it. Back out at the first spot where we didn't catch anything, but now we're gonna try, instead of moving baits, we're gonna try some dingers over here and hopefully connect on a few. Maybe. Actually, you just want one. That one day literally just ruined me. I caught nine biggins, like three pounders. Dude, I swear I had one. I swear. Probably just weeds, but you know what? I'm getting a little bit antsy. It's been like two hours and I haven't got a fish. So, you know, you just got to test your luck on everything. See, I set the hook when I had something like that. But it does feel like a fish. Some thick weeds. No doubt. 
<laughs> it's there's some thick weeds here. It's it's playing pranks. We're fishing at Big Dip Burger Burgers guys and an ice cream shop. So maybe these fish are really hungry. They're just over here waiting for them leftovers to be dumped in the water. I think that's what's going on. I know, it's just literally sun peaks behind a cloud and it's like minus 10 degrees. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a bite. Take it, oh, take it, he's taking it. There it is, no way. Finally, I got one. He's a little squeaker though, at least I think. Yeah, he's a little squeaker, but I'll take him. I got a freaking fish today, boys. Hopefully, if I can land him. Oh, come here, mate. No way, I got him. I actually caught a fish today. That took a little bit, that leg was barely hooked. That was only pinned by pressure, but look at that little guy. Little tiny squeaker. Let's go. No way, I actually caught one. That's pretty amazing. Whew. Finally, folks, I caught one today. Little squeaker, not nearly as big as Danny's, but that's okay. We got the skunk out of the boat. Probably only have like 40 more minutes to fish because the sun is going down, that's for sure. It was a struggle today <laughs> for sure, folks, but at least we were able to catch this little guy. He's kind of a fatty though, not gonna lie, but time to let him go. Thank you, bud. And see you later, Squeaky McGee. Whew. Let's go, hopefully we can get another one. Not saying we will, don't think we are. Really? No way, why'd we ever leave the spot? You just look like a big shadow right now. I'm gonna have to switch sides. Got him, it's a pretty thick boy right there. I mean, you got the scale, you know what to do. Two pounds, 10 ounces right there. Another beautiful fish, but not quite as PB, but we'll take it any day. All right, second fish of the day. Almost a three pound, or not almost a three pound. I mean, it's pretty close. Two ten. Sixteen 16 ounces, six, <laughs> six ounces off. Yeah, I mean, geez, math is nice. Tough. I mean, it's a nice, nice looking fish. It's a nice fish regardless, bigger than my squeaker. <laughs> so we'll let him go. Woo. Have a great day. You're a big seaweed guy, aren't you? I don't know where you're feeling this seaweed at because I haven't felt a single one. Oh, that's a bite. Dude, just take it. Literally, it was like a bluegill just nipping at its tail. Why do I catch the squeakers? I don't have them, but like, he just pecked at it like three times. Oh, I'm a big, I'm a big small fish guy right now, guys. That was a tiny hit, but then he just stopped. Well guys, now I'm back home. It's actually the next morning. Forgot to do an outro last night, as I usually do. But that doesn't really matter. The point is, it was a very slow day of fishing yesterday, but a day when at least someone catches their PB, it's always a good day. So. Hopefully you can break that like 10 more times this year because we got to catch some absolute hogs this spring, guys. It really hasn't even started spring fishing, so we got a lot of good days ahead of us. Yeah, well, it was a slow day on, on the water, like Joey was saying, but I mean, I was able to pull through and catch my PB, so All right. he was able to, a good time. He was able to catch the big ones. I caught the squeaker, but that doesn't really matter. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up, and as always, stay tuned. Till next time, um, Bass Bros.